Dad, I keep hearing about this thing called Moore's Circle in solid mechanics. Is that just more math? It's actually a visual tool, Steve. Moore's Circle helps engineers quickly find the principal stresses and maximum shear stresses on a material. So instead of using equations, you draw a circle? Exactly. Say you know the normal stresses in the X and Y directions, and the shear stress on that plane? Moore's Circle turns those into a simple 2D plot. Okay, how does that work? You plot the point at sigma sub x tau, sub x y, and another at sigma sub y, negative tau, sub x y. Draw a circle through them. The center is at sigma average, equals sigma sub x plus sigma sub y, divided by two. And the radius is the square root of delta sigma, divided by two squared, plus tau squared. And that gives you the principal stresses? Yep. Where the circle hits the horizontal axis gives you sigma sub 1 and sigma sub 2, the principal normal stresses. The max vertical distance gives you the maximum shear stress, tau max. Why is this better than just solving equations? It's faster, visual, and helps you understand the state of stress at any rotated angle without grinding through coordinate transformations. So I can use it to find the most dangerous stress on a part? That's the whole point. Structures often fail along the principal planes, and Moore's Circle helps you find those planes instantly. That's actually kind of elegant. It is. Moore's Circle may look like a circle, but it's one of the most powerful tools in solid mechanics.